And you may download the book at strawmanstory.info. Um, Clint, we do have um, a couple of calls here. Uh, great. The, the only thing I, I, I guess I want to say is when you get down to the nitty gritty of this, you realize that um, there's two forms of existence. There's there's the, the real existence, obviously, self-existence, nature, you and me, uh, without any names, titles, etc. And then there's artifice, artificial, you know, the quote-unquote legal matrix where everything is, is, is recreated, re, you know, resourced. Put, and we're all become human human capital. So the the question and, and the strangest part about the Bible is that it, it, everybody talks about this too. It's one of the reasons people don't like about the Bible is that it talks about death. Everybody's being put to death, 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 and people are rising from the grave like they're like it's a freaking a zombie apocalypse, right? Lazarus, sure. Jesus, everybody's everybody's <laughs> coming back from the dead. But how is that possible? Ah. Well, that's not referencing your real life. That's referencing your straw man. That's referencing your your status in society. You see, sure. you have to crucify that. You literally have to die uh, or let your straw man die, as which is called a civil death, in order to enjoy a spiritual life. Civil death destroys spiritual life, just a spiritual life uh, uh, destroys civil life so when you're acting in this fiction you are experiencing civil life but you're also experiencing spiritual death and so the concept of death is purely metaphoric and it and in the end of this book or the end of this chapter yeah it's actually at the end of the book i highly recommend at least everybody read the last 30 or 40 pages the epilogue because it's going to show you that all this sovereignty land patent stuff is all false um but it specifically talks about the execution of the contract of citizenship we have to die i mean literally we have to be born again into nature alone get rid of all the fiction that is a, the notion of legal death, execution of contract, quit claim. You literally have to opt out of that system in order to be free from its law. But in order to do that, the only way the state is going to recognize you is if you live a monastic life, a life under the law that you follow religiously because it's always going to come back the jew the attorney the devil is always going to come back and and want to put you into a contract and the only way the devils which is another word for attorney the only way they can control you okay in scotland uh, an attorney is called a devil or a devil master depending on his status Uh, that's official it's right out of their, their law books um so, uh, and deviling is actually in the dictionary. Uh, you, you, you have to literally. I mean, it's it's what the Bible means by by dying and being born again. Born again. You're killing your fiction. Your straw man must die. You must you must take all connection from it, and that means solution or end of contract. That is where you start to have the spiritual life, but only if you follow the law. The second you sign a contract, the second you respect that fiction again, you're right back in it. Right. That's why and you they make it so, They make it seem like a benefit for you to be in their system. Well, it is a benefit if, you're, if your intent is to break the natural law. Right. It's protecting you. It's If your intent is to be in the old law, and ignore the new law, the, the Christ, well then, then, <laughs> then yeah, it is a benefit because you don't have to be responsible for yourself. You can take insurance. You can do all these different things. You can pay for your crimes or you can spend time in jail for your crimes. Either way, you're paying because time is money. Sure. Right? <laughs> so you go, you're going into pricelessness, timelessness. No history out there. There's no history in nature. How would you record history if nothing has a name? How would you? I mean, it's 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 this beautiful concept of being born again, and all that means is 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 to go be childlike again, not to believe that you are something you're not, not to respect all these flattering titles and personhood and all this fiction. Get it, get it out of your head. That's what the Bible is about. This, this is why I say it's not religion; it's law. It's it's that's what natural law is: is to go back to your source. Don't have any fictions. Don't have any artificial 
uh, things because if you have something that is artificial, that means you are property of another. Uh, and you're law. All right.